Hello everyone, DQ here and the walk we have today is the Ruko D12 or series 1200 and taking a look at the key first looks like normal ASA 600 or Ruko 600 but when I <laughs> rotate it you're gonna see that the keyway is actually at 90 degree angle and there is holes in the wording only for the last two key pins. I'm not sure if that's in every lock, but in mine only the last two chambers have holes. We have barrels as um, uh, drivers. We have barrel milling in every single one of the chambers. And it catches very well. And you're also gonna see that there are two uh, cutouts on each keeping chamber. And the reason for that is uh, because we have forked keepings. If you take a look at the key, you're gonna see that there is actually two cuts on the key for each keeping. So we have one cut here, two cuts for one, two cuts for one, two cuts for one, and so on. And let me show you one of those forked key pins as you can see they're not around at the bottom they have two um, two like um, places where it interacts with the key with corresponding beating on the key and of course uh, they have two um, like uh, little blockers that don't allow uh, the keep in to rotate because if it didn't have that it could rotate and when you insert the key uh, it could be the uh, the pin is rotated upside down and the lock, the lock isn't going to open and I believe that's because they that's why they made them in that way and that adds a little bit of more difficulty picking other than the <laughs> extremely paracentric keyway and to feed that keyway I will be using this flock basically go from this side and pick the barrels one by one and uh, just a quick disclaimer this beating is possible uh, on this walk there are beatings where they're basically impossible if we have this cut here on pin 6 which is the lowest cut if we have it at the front and the back is max lift there is just no way you're gonna set that you're going to need either a special tool which is very thin and I'm not sure if people have been able to make one but this beating is possible and it's possible with this flag as I explained I will go from here on the side basically lift every single barrel in the milling then out of the milling in the same way you uh, pick any barrel, have a tension to jiggle test and when you find what's binding, loosen up the tension to set it. And another thing I want to show you is uh, on those that look that they're low lifts, they're actually fully effective. So as you can see, when I insert them, there is play like the barrel is in the milling the barrel needs to be picked out of the milling and it's not like it's a zero lift or something and that's actually those low lifts are very hard to set uh, the high lift on front is the easiest for sure and yeah i think that's all there is to say about this walk uh, oh yeah let's uh, quickly show you the drill protection here here and here uh, no, oops, no drill protection on the side because we don't have a sidebar. Here we have drill protection on three places. Again, if the camera wants to focus for me, here are the three drill protections. We have six main stack pin grooves and we have a sidebar groove which is not used for this work but I believe this um, housing is used in another works like the Roku Garant Plus, let's say, which I picked a few videos ago. 
the housing looks exactly the same. Like I don't see any difference except this part, but that's just for um, lock installation. So yeah, um, that's all I have to say about this lock. Let me quickly show you the pins close up one more time. And yeah. Oh uh, yes, for picking I'll be using uh, Sparrow's top of the keyway tensioner, which fits very well in this keyway. And yeah, the fuck I already explained, I go from here and basically rotate to set the pins. So yeah, let's pick the lock. Okay, Ruku D12 is in device. <coughs> Key works very smoothly. Let's try to pick it. Starting with pin 1, 2 clicks, pin 2, 1 click, pin 4, 1 click, pin 6, 1 click, 1 is loose, 2 is loose, click on 3, 4 is binding very hard. Click on 4, click on 5, click on 6, small click on 1, Small click on one again. Four. Six and we're open. Nice. <clears throat> now let's get it. I will walk it back up. Screws out. Uh, get my forward. Pins. Let me get my tweezers. Okay, here is the plug with barrel milling. Of course. In every single chamber. That's interesting. Chambers uh, 5 and 6 are milled very deeply. I believe that's because of the yeah because of the one keepings. Anyways, let's take out the barrels now. We have barrels in every single chamber. Springs six of them and the housing itself it has a sidebar groove, but I believe that's just um, housing they make for many walks, so it's not used in this one. 
and here are the walk internals have the barrels with the forked keepings which is pretty cool so yeah this is uh, Rukudi 12 picked and gutted hope you enjoyed have a nice day and bye bye